folks. Now we have a little surprise here today, a little bit different from the Russian stuff. Can you see what it is yet? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let's have a close look then down here. Right, so today's a treat, uh, uh, special. Right, as you can see, there's my newly completed um, 090 there. Alba, day date, quartz, uh, curved end bracelet, standard clasp. Let's have a look at the measurements and that. Twenty mil, luck to luck. So it's twenty mil lug, which is a bit. So the Loras, uh, it looks very similar to this. It's a nineteen mil one, but this is a twenty mil fitted. Stands waterproofing. I. What this is? It's a Seiko. Now Alba is a brand. Now Alba means is a, another technical term for Scotland or Scottish. Right. And this is a sub brand. This is basically Seiko producing watches against itself. Right. So that people that don't want to buy Seiko, they don't want to be like the sheep. They're given an opportunity so they can have like, you know, a Loris or they can have an Alba or some of the, you know, there's, there's, it's, Seiko's a very complex Japanese company. As you can see, have a look at its width. And that's 40, that's for crown to, across from crown to side is 40. And it's, it's, it's the same on that as well. That, I mean, most watches tend to be kind of like four square. So, um, it's got screw down case back, and so fitted lug ends. Um, it's not the biggest of watches because this, this is primarily designed for Asian men, like, you know, which tend to have less, less light, less than beefy watches, but it just, just fits snugly. And there you go. Now I paid a ridiculously cheap amount for what is a very, very good quality Seiko quartz. So I am really pleased with that. So this is another one added to uh, the Seiko, but not Seiko collection. Right, just have to think about it up top. Right, there's a more generic view of it. I say, I mean, the the case head itself is actually generally bigger than standard Seiko's, but the bracelet is obviously it's, it, it, being a Asian man, there's not. I mean, if I had a slightly bigger wrist, it, I just wouldn't be able to put it on. I would have had to have put an extension on it. I think that is very, very nice. That is. Uh, I know it's upside down. It's. Uh, I mean, I didn't even have to set it up, like, and I mean, I paid a ridiculous amount, like, you know, for what is possibly, like, you know, worth a hell of a lot more, and is a very, very reliable piece. I mean, these Seikos lose very little in a month, if at all. They are that accurate. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Well, I'm probably clean the class, but I don't know if you can see that there. So, so. There you go, Alba, made by Seiko, very, very manly sort of watch, I mean, you wouldn't, you know, you have a nice shirt cuff down over it, you wouldn't be unhappy with it, you know, or short sleeves, no sleeves, um, it could take a bit of water, 
like 30, 30 feet of water. So, you know, I mean, obviously, like, you wouldn't be able to go, like, you know, 200 meter trench diving with it, like, but you could, you know, get it wet without too much problem. But that's, that's the good thing about Seiko's. Oh, there you go. Like that. No waffle, no, no rubbishy stuff going on today, so I will leave that with you there. Catch you later.